So, like you may know, a new Avatar film just have been released, and this gave me a huge idea. I'm gonna make Avatar in Unreal Engine 5 in just a few hours. Yeah. But there's a small problem, and it is that I haven't seen the new Avatar film or any other Avatar movie, so I will need to relay on some trailers and stuff, hopefully. But this is good because this will mean that this video will be spoiler free and the result was insane, so stay until the end. So I started out by modeling an avatar character in Blender. <clears throat> what I meant by that was just, you know, um... Yeah, I found out this pretty cool character in Sketchfab, so I just basically downloaded it. But for some reason, the skeleton didn't work with Mixamo, so I just tried for hours and hours, and uh, yeah, it just didn't work. So I just downloaded the next one to that one in Sketchfab, and this one actually worked. So I grabbed some locomotion animations from Mixamo, and then when I had all the animations that I needed, I just dragged him into a real engine, and... Whoa, 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 man, just wait a second. Okay, now it's resolved. Let's continue. Sorry about that. Man, this bugs. Alright, so then I just added the animations into the character and into the player. And now we can just run around the map and play the game with our avatar. All I did was create an animation blend space so the animations will transition smoothly depending on the speed and merge it all together into an animation blueprint. I have a tutorial on that. Okay, so now that we have the player working, it's time to add some creatures and some AI. So I went ahead and found this really cool asset pack on the marketplace which looked a lot like the Avatar movie creatures, or that's what I think so. So I went ahead and imported them into Unreal and just gave them a very simple artificial intelligence using this useful node which will just pick a random point in the map to go. Um, what the he Let me just fix this real quick. So, I just added some animation into it, and there you go. Now we have a cool creature, kind of. So, let me just add some more creatures. Great, so now we do have some awesome AI just running around the map. Alright, so now it was time to start creating the environment and the map. But there's a little problem. And it is that in Avatar, the main environment that resembles it is basically like a jungle biome. And I don't really have any tropical packs. I only have some normal forest assets. But luckily, I have some palm trees and some grass that I can grab, and I can just merge them together, hopefully. So I started out by getting a hay map that I downloaded from the internet that looked like the Avatar Pandora map, and I imported it into Unreal. But it didn't work as I wanted because there was like cubes, the resolution wasn't great, and I just couldn't get it working. So what I did was just create a simple purling noise in Photoshop, and then it finally worked. Then I added some Brazilo out to landscape material to fill up the slopes, etc. And then I started to add some grass that I found in Quixel and some kind of bushes that I had uh, from another assets. But then after some time working on this environment, I realized that I had a tropical island pack that looked absolutely incredible and more like Pandora than anything else. So I opened it and oh my god, it is perfect. So then I press play to test out the map and... Yeah, it crashed at least 70 times. But the next day I opened it up and finally it didn't crash. I don't know how, it was just like magic. Anyway, I quickly placed my character in the scene and some AI creatures around and look how beautiful it is looking. Also, I just quickly added some footsteps sounds and some environment sounds that came with the pack. Okay, so now it was feeling and looking absolutely amazing, so now it was time to make a bit of the gameplay. Now, I was gonna make it very simple, just add an NPC that will give you a mission, and then you have to do something. So I started out by creating the NPC that you can basically interact to get a mission from it, and actually I created a dialogue system, which I actually have a tutorial on that, so if you want to check it out, go ahead. So I prepared everything, and I had a great idea, and it was to make the dialogue entirely with ChatGPT. An AI that can basically ask anything and it will give you an, an incredible answer. Which I actually have a cool video on making a game with ChatGPT. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. So I quickly added some UI so it can look a bit better. And then you can see a bit the system working when I go uh, into him and start pressing E. The dialogue will actually cycle now. Still, I didn't have the ChatGPT one. And then I implemented all the ChatGPT phrases on. Okay, so up till now, all great, but... There's one problem, and is that I don't really know what is the tree of souls, 
and basically ChatGPT generated a dialogue including the uh, Tree of Souls but like I said I haven't seen any of the movies so I cannot really make it so I quickly you know, searched up on Google and you can see there's uh, like a purple tree so literally what I did was just get one of the trees from the asset pack and just get the leaf material and just turn it purple and just place it in the scene yeah so basically the objective of the mission was to get to the uh, to that tree, to the tree of souls. Um, so basically what I did was just create a trigger so when the player enters in that zone, it will do something. Okay, so then what I did and decided to do is that when you get into that tree, the NPC will just appear floating and looking at you and then it will say whatever chat GPT generated for when you complete the mission. Okay, so there you go, you can see the NPC there. The thing is that he fell because I forgot to disable his gravity, but you can see that the dialogue is actually appearing and stuff, so things are working. So then what I decided to do is just add a camera that will just be in the sky aiming into the player and the NPC. And then I went ahead and added the floating animation to the NPC, which looks pretty funny. And then I decided to add more cameras and basically transition through them as we go. And then one of the final things that I did was just clear a bit the path into the tree so the player can basically orient itself a bit better. And I also started to paint a bit of the path with some sand. And after a few hours of working into this sprite, here's the final result. Now have in mind that of course it was really easy and simple to make because I really didn't add any special gameplay. Literally it's just the player walking around with an NPC you know, shooting kind of of another dialogue. But the whole combination of all this into making this avatar look alike in Unreal Engine 5 and thing ended up looking very cool. So that's it guys, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe to my channel, I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials that will probably help you a lot in the future. And yes, with all I said, bye bye.